We recently reported on the new canine officer that has joined the Corpus Christi Police Department. And today we're taking a look at how that new canine named Damon uh, and the rest of the canine unit prepare for their unique roles. Chelsea Torres is live this morning at the Corpus Christi Police Department. So Chelsea, we understand you got a first hand look yesterday. I really did get a firsthand look exactly of how they train. You know, there's five canine officers within the Corpus Christi Police Department canine unit. They train every single week to make sure that they are ready and prepared for any situation that can happen. Corpus Christi Police Department. Each canine officer within the Corpus Christi Police Department has a different job to do, and they train every week to get the job done right. You have a, a lot of theories out there that a dog can only do this, only can do that. These are amazing animals. If they can smell it, they can find it. You know, uh, same they can hear. A lot of their senses are so much more heightened than ours, and it we use that to our advantage. The newest member of the canine unit is Officer Damon. His handler, Officer Devin Haywood, has been looking forward to this position for a long time. It's uh, it, it was a childhood dream, and I finally got the chance to be it when I came here. Haywood says canine Damon is a fast learner and quiet thinker. So far, the challenge has been learning how to read his dog. Whenever they're an older, whenever they're on a track, you know, when, whenever they're finding a suspect, just knowing the little changes that your dog does to tell you, hey, I'm alerting to an older or a person. Being a part of the canine unit doesn't mean the job is all bite. Six months ago, the CCPD canine unit began focusing on a position called utility. Utilities like Tanja do not bite. Her job is to search for lost elderly, missing children, or rescue people during active shooter situations. They're here to please their handler. They're here to play a game. They're not out to hurt anyone. And that's the last thing we want as handlers is for these dogs to hurt anyone. And most importantly, these canines are here for one job and one job only, and that's to serve and protect. Learn how they take care of you, how they protect the city. Um, I was actually, we had an incident one time where Bingo protected me from somebody with a machete. So there's something really neat about learning to uh, communicate with, with an animal that can't talk. It's, it's, it's really a neat experience. Now it's important to know that these canine officers are with their handlers 24 seven. That is their dog they're with all the time. And the canine unit really wanted me to reiterate to the public that they want people to know that they are working dogs and they're with them all the time, but that they need to make sure that they keep their distance so that way these canine officers can focus on their job.